Hey everyone, it's Mr. McCluskey back again with another video and today we're going to be looking at what the definition and meaning of standard of living is. We're going to look at the couple key words that relate to it, how do we determine it. You know, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about this lesson and I'm, I'm really hoping you guys are too. You can stay, but I'm leaving. Flop. Um, okay. Uh, not that excited, so, uh, but we still have to do this lesson, so uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so what is standard of living? Well, according to the internet, it says, <clears throat> It is the level of wealth, comfort, material goods, and necessities available to certain socioeconomic class or a certain geographic area. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, it might seem pretty complicated, but it's not. To make this easier, we're gonna simplify this down a little bit. So what standard living is, it's the quality of life in a country based on three factors. And those factors are GDP per capita, literacy rate, and life expectancy. So what is GDP per capita? Well, before we understand what GDP per capita is, we really need to take a look at what GDP means. And GDP is short for gross domestic product. And we don't mean gross in the sense of when I was in elementary school and I threw up over like seven kids who were sitting in front of me. Yeah, not like that gross. We mean in the sense of total. Gross means total in this case. To keep it simple, GDP is basically the wealth of a country. How much money a country makes through goods and services in a year. Now that we understand what GDP is, let's take a look at GDP per capita. Now GDP per capita is the average amount of money a person will make in a year within a country. Good morning, my darlings. You're coming home with me. GDP per capita is basically considered the average income of a person in a country. The next factor is literacy rate. Now, literacy rate is the percentage of the population that's over the age of 15 that can read and write within a certain country. Now, when you come across these numbers, you're going to see numbers in the 90s and then you might see them below 90. A lot of these countries that you see that might have low literacy rates might have different roadblocks to promoting education, the access to get an education, or the ability for families to allow their ch children to go to school. You know, sometimes in some places, you do have it where children need to work in order to be able to bring home an income for families. And the last factor we're going to talk about is life expectancy. Now, life expectancy is simply how long the average life will be within a country. How old the average person will live to be. And that's it. That's, that's all the factors of the standard of living. Um, I'm hoping that part was pretty easy. Yes! Good. Um, but let's not get too excited. We do have one more thing to go over. Please, no! 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 Yeah, yeah, we gotta look at uh, how do we determine a standard of living using the GDP literacy rate and life expectancy. So, let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, so let's make this quick. So how do we determine standard of living? Well, the first thing we need to do is look at the chart. As we look at the chart, you will see that you have a list of countries, then you have categories of GDP per capita, life expectancy, and literacy rate. Now, if you look at each one of these, what you will do is you're going to rank each country based on each category. So let's start with GDP per capita. You look at that category and you try to find who has the highest. According to this, the country that has the highest is Japan. So next to that number at 46,831, you would put a one. Then the second country that's closest is the United States. The third would be Russia. And finally, Mali would be in fourth place in this. Then you do the same thing for life expectancy. Find the highest and then rank them from highest to lowest, going one, two, three, four, five. And then you do the same thing with literacy rate. Now, sometimes you'll actually have it where countries will be the exact same. They might tie, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But as you go through this, you're gonna end up having three numbers. 
You add those three numbers up and they're gonna give you a raw score and that's how you rank them. The lowest raw score is the country that has the highest standard of living. The highest raw score is the country that has the worst standard of living. And that's it. That's everything you need to know about standard of living for this lesson. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know, thumbs up if you like it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.